All right, hello everybody. I am that role playing ginger, and we are back with more Sonic Adventure. Am I backwards? Why did I start the level backwards? <laughs> Why did I start the level backwards? What the hell? <laughs> oh, but we are back with more Sonic Adventure 2 battle. This might be the finale, depending on how quickly we can actually get through things. He has a light dash now, apparently, which he didn't have before, but that's fine. Oh god. Oh no, this game's gonna give me a heart attack! <sighs> I am hoping to all the gods that this level does not take as long as the last time I went through this, this zone did. I can't see anything, which is always fun. I'm just trying to get through this thing as quickly as possible because I know that I have to fight Sanic at the end of this, and that's gonna hurt. Oh god, the depth perception on this is a nightmare. Whew, made it to a checkpoint, though. We have a lot more lives than we did with Sonic because I didn't have to fight Tails like five billion times. Like I had to fight Robotnik. Robotnik? More like Robotnik. I wonder if Sonic has ever actually made that joke. If they haven't, I'm a little disappointed in them, but I think I'm more disappointed in myself. I'm gonna go blue. Sweet, blue was right. Oh god, oh god, oh jeez, oh god, oh jeez! Oh god, the homing attack in this game sucks so hard. It is the absolute worst that Sonic has ever seen. You son of a... Oh. What is going on?! The gravity here is making me want a bomb. No, 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 no. I just gotta breathe. We get through this just fine. There's power up right there. I don't know what it is. It's probably something Sonic already has, though. Mystic Melody. Change to Mystic Melody in the action menu. Uh, then press the B button to play Mystic Melodies. What? Where's Mystic Melody? Options. Oh wait, that's wrong button. I'm playing a flute? Why do I not know about this? What the hell? Why don't I remember this? Is this just a thing that's always been here and I've completely forgotten? That's crazy! I don't remember him playing the flute and causing a wormhole. That's crazy talk! How am I still learning new things about this game? I'm on the bar! Thank you! Alright. I feel like... I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not, I was gonna say something that's gonna jinx me. Yeah, I gotta get the checkpoint. Gotta make sure we get the checkpoint. Oh crap. Ooh, for life. I thought I had failed and, like, missed out on extra bonus items. Apparently, falling was the key! Oh god. Oh, and I'm dead. I hit a bar that I couldn't see because it automatically twisted my character to that point, and I died from it. You know, the Sonic Adventure 2 battle way. That is the way this game is played. I'm just gonna... 
just gonna bypass a lot of this. No, I don't want a dose zooming on there because it's gonna make me hit that bar that's underneath there that I can't see if I'm trying to speed past everything. Which is what you think this game would be about. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Take your time and don't rush. No! Oh my god, I'm... Oh. <laughs> my chest is like... I'm having heart palpitations because of this game. No! I did not aim towards that! Why? I want to do a, like, comparison now. I want to see if this is, in fact, the worst homing attack Sonic has ever had. Or if this is Knuckles, or this is not Knuckles, this is a Shadow, technically, but, like, it was just as bad for Sonic. So I would, like, love to do a compare and contrast with all the Sonic games to find out which one had the most, like, poorly executed homing attack. Because this one, this one, to me, feels like it takes the cake. It doesn't track where you're going, it doesn't track- it sometimes tracks the nearest object to you, but not always. Sometimes it goes exactly where you're pointing the analog stick, so... Oh, I gotta go down where I can't see anything. Which is always pleasant. This is Shadow's pole dancing section of the game. You make me feel... Who in the depth of perception sucks- I did it! I only died once! Oh, I'm so happy about that. But now I have to fight Sonic. And watch, Sonic's gonna be able to chaos control, and I'm not. I guess I'm not at full power here. Oh, dear, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> I fucking hate Shadow's voice. I need the Maria. I'm actually going to. I need to turn my phone off now that I noticed. I am going to quickly try and look up. Ah, no, not Never voice actors. I want to. I thought that capsule you were in exploded. Not Eggman. I'm gonna try and like look up Sonic Adventure 2 beat Sonic. So there's more to you than just See if there's What are you anyway? See if there's a okay, boss strategies, Sonic Adventure 2 guides. No, I don't want hero, I want villain. I see. But you know Alright. I can't let you live. Where are you? Sonic. All right, I have to hit him five times. Um, just get three hits on him in the beginning, then let him get a little ways. Call for Sonic Wind. How do I call for Sonic Wind? So hit him three times at the beginning. Oh, he got me. How? Can't get him. Not, not, well, maybe, let's see. He's using Sonic Wind. Let's see. Uh, three hits on him at the beginning, then let him get a little ways ahead of you. Call for Sonic Wind. Somersault out of the way, then quickly attack him while you can. Do it again. Sonic is done for. This is not a guide. This doesn't tell you, like, what moves to use or anything. That's so stupid. I did not mean to go zooming past him. I'll use your chaos control! Got him. Alright, let's see if we can do this. So once I hit him three times, he'll start using Sonic Wind. And then I have to let him use it, dodge it by somersaulting. God damn it. Oh, got him three. So now I have to let him win the race by letting him get ahead of me. Oh god, I think I have the strategy now at least though. I just gotta be able to aim it, which is an absolute nightmare. Don't worry, I'll slow down. I somersaulted out of the way. I don't have any rings. There we go. I gotta let him go ahead. Okay, so that's the strategy. Alright, I gotta hit him one more time. One more time! 
Let him get ahead of me. This is so stupid. Nope. Alright. So I'll probably use the Somersault, and then I'll try and go right into Spin Dash. See if that works. Oh, all these rings. Nope, didn't reach. Because I got hit by it. Because sometimes I can dodge it, and sometimes I can't. I want to get let him go where there's no rings. Perfect. Got him. Ha! Killed you, Sonic! I murdered him. Shadow just grabs him by the throat and throws him out into space. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. <sighs> okay. Central control room, countdown, 40 seconds. <laughs> of course! He just throws it. <laughs> it's right in front of him, and he's just like, Take this! I ju actually just noticed that. I was play I've been playing Pokemon Sword and Shield because I'm trying to 100% my Pokedex. Uh, my online Pokedex, which means getting every variant Pokemon, like if a, if a Pokemon has different types based on whether or not it's male or female, getting both of them, uh, regional variants, anything like that. I'm getting everything. And, oh, so I won. Dark. Um, and so, uh, because of that, I've been playing Sword and Shield for the first time because I completely missed that generation of Pokemon. Uh, not a lot of Pokemon to catch in that one, but I missed it, and it's the game that right now is the easiest to go back and get legendaries that you can't really access anymore without going through a real crazy hassle of getting them from, like, Advance to DS to 3DS to uh, Pokemon Home. It's it's a nightmare. I managed to do it back in the past, because when X and Y came out, I had a 100% Pokedex. Uh, not counting, like, male-female variants or regional variants, obviously. Because X and Y, um, Sun and Moon re introduced regional variants. So, X and Y, I had a 100% Pokedex. I, except for the male-female variants, obviously. But, I had it, and I was super happy and proud of it. Which basically, at the time, meant if I started a new game in X and Y, I can just throw the entire Pokedex into X and Y, and automatically start the game with the Shiny Charm. Which was amazing. Um... So I'm doing that again now that we're in Scarlet and Violet, we're in Gen 9, I'm trying to get it caught up all over again. Um, and Sword and Shield has the way to catch all the legendaries that you can't really catch anymore. But, I noticed a scene at the end of the main story of X and Y where your rival dude, Hop, throws a Pokeball, point blank, baseball pitcher throws at this Pokemon's nose, and I'm like, dude, you are two steps away from it, and he reels back. And I'm like, if Pokeballs are made of anything harder than, like, foam, this thing's nose is broken because he just straight baseball pitches it at his face. <laughs> Point blank. And it, uh, killed me when I saw that. Can I skip these? Because I've already seen the credits. I don't think I can. Because I'm going to go right into, it's not going to be a separate episode, I'm going to go right into the final part of the game. Because I want this to be the finale of this so that I can move on to other things. Because I have plans, people. I have plans. I don't want to play Sonic Adventure 2 anymore. <laughs> uh, but no, I can't skip past this. The music's kind of... This is probably the weakest music I've heard in the game so far. This just... This is... It's not bad. I'm not I'm not saying. I'm not trash-talking this game. Or this, this game's music. I'm tr definitely trash-talking this game. Uh, but this this song isn't bad, but, like, comparatively to all the others, it's not special. It's not memorable. This was out for the 10th anniversary of Sanic? Aw. Original game, Sonic Team, Sega 2001. Alright, back to the title screen. How many emblems are in this one? Probably forgetting, like, S ranks on everything, or A ranks, whatever the highest one is. You can now select scenes from the Dark Story. Cool, I had that option earlier. Now select time attack boss stages. So I gotta do boss time attacks for boss stages to get emblems, probably. New two-player battle stages. Level four have been unlocked. Awesome. I don't think I'm ever gonna play those right now. Maria! 
Sonic Adventure 2. Last Is episode, this the trailer? Wishes are eternal. This feels like the like origin of post credit scenes of like Kingdom Hearts. Like if you 100% the game and everything in Kingdom Hearts and all that, you get the post credit scene that shows like uh, Kingdom Hearts 2's final area. Uh, it, it feels like that. All right, we're gonna go one player play. Oh, nope, I keep pressing B. I'm used to the uh, switch control right now. There we go. Last. Let's do this. So Eggman activated the machine. It's not killing everyone! I can't believe this! This is actually, now that I think about it, this might be my first introduction to a, like, having to beat the story on two separate sides and then get a final ending. So, like, this might be one of my first introductions as a kid to the idea of a true ending. Something that I'm now absolutely too familiar with to the point where every video game I play I'm looking for multiple endings. It's all over for us. We're all gonna die. I just received a message from my boss. Cool. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. <laughs> well, we're all dead. Probably will impact Earth. <laughs> we're all dead. Everyone in the vicinity is there is dead. Look at that. This is the darkest part of this game. This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculation Eggman's grandfather, I believe. Space colony arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed along with your beloved planet Earth. Yeah, this is like... So, Eggman was going to threaten the world. But I don't think he had full intentions to, like, destroy it. His grandfather did, however. I plan to give you a taste of my revenge once all the seven Chaos Emeralds are collected. Once I initiate this program, it cannot be disabled. All of you ungrateful humans who took everything away from me will feel my loss and despair. He lost somebody. Yep. What's going on here? Uh, that's called a firing squad, Amy. <laughs> I plan to give you a taste of my revenge. The vibration's getting What's worse. Professor Gerald Robotnik, one of the greatest scientific minds. It was his grandfather. And my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else I <laughs> I'll kill you, and then we'll all die. <laughs> what do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? <laughs> Most hedgehogs aren't this persistent. <laughs> the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. <laughs> I was told to never read it, especially page 69. Avoid it at all cost. She's like, page 69, you say? I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, Maria! were all saved. So yeah, um... The colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the prototype, keep the prototype from prototype falling into the wrong hands. He had good intentions in creating the ultimate life form, but then the military came, shut it all down, and killed them. And so... Mm-hmm. So, yeah, she... She died. He... Everyone that, like, he had working on his project died. And now he set it all to basically destroy the Earth. I like that it, even he's overlapping himself. Release a 
and awaken it. If to you the wish world. to fill the world with destruction. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. Of course, the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. Like, dude, <laughs> whoever's reading the lines for him in this is not focusing on the mic. Like, they are they keep, like, turning away from the mic and you can barely hear anything, and then they come back to repeat the line and they move on to the next part. <laughs> it's just, it's like, dude, keep the mic in front of your face, please. Or at least to the side of your face, like I'm doing right now. Yeah, I keep mine, I keep mine kind of angled to the side, that way my voice isn't directly going at the mic. That way it, it reduces the amount of peak that happens. Let me just pull this out. It's so small now! Like it's, it, where was the continuity person on this? First off, it's tiny compared to the first game, and now it's tiny compared to the same gem, this game. We pull together. We might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Yeah, I don't think Robotnik was ever going to go through with destroying the world. He just wanted the threat there so that people would obey his demands. I don't think he would have gone through with it, but the world wasn't willing to risk his bluff. And so now that there's actually a threat, especially because it's a threat to his own life, too. <laughs> Let's get to work! <coughs> but especially now, because it's a, a threat to his own life, he's not willing to uh, just sit down and die. Alright, you, you can just go after yourself. I, I'm gonna sit here. Of course, we have to start as Tails in the mech, the mech levels, which I absolutely love, you all know. And again, not gonna go for score, just gonna go for... Oh, God. I think I don't have a limit on jetpacks. God, I can't dodge that. It's so stupid. I can't see anything. <laughs> God damn, the camera in this game sucks. Oh, God! Tails, please. Tails, I'm begging you. Tails! God damn you! You son of a bitch! God, Tails, you suck so hard in this game! You are the absolute epitome of incompetence in this Sonic the Hedgehog game. And I can't do anything now. <sighs> Tails, why do your sections suck so many balls? Just, just questioning it. Every single section with Tails in this game has not been fun. I'm dead! Yep, Tails loses. The end. Okay, apparently I beat the level. Even though I didn't beat the level, or maybe I only have like a certain number of people I can try to beat the game with. What the hell was that? The door just threw weapons at me? No, it was that guy, but it went through the goddamn door! What the fuck? I'm so, I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of playing this broken-ass game. <laughs> just let it end. See, I can't dodge it. See, I can't, I can't. You cannot dodge it. You have to let them hit you in order to kill them. That's bullshit. That is straight garbage. 
Are you guys gonna... There we go. Thought I was like, yeah, I thought I had the ability to break these boxes. I'm trying to find more rings so I can heal myself from all the mandatory damage I have to take. Oh, this is fun. I don't know where I gotta go. I, I have no idea. Nope, not there, obviously. God damn it, this is such bullshit. Well, at least I can stand here for some reason. Up here. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am going to flip out and myrtleize everything. Let me in. I'll thank all the gods at Checkpoint. Oh, that failed. I don't even care about that balloon. I can't right now. I just need to go. Perfect. Except that I can't get up. Breaking through here is what killed Tails. Okay, so I beat Tails' level then. I didn't lose. That's good at least. Ah! Drain the liquid out of the core. Cool. Drain the liquid out of the core. Don't know where I'll go to drain the liquid out of the core, but we will try to find that nonetheless. Must be going up because this is a very clear hint that this is the direction to go is that there are variation of, of pillars for me to climb. Which implies that it's up here. Alright. I, I can't. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. This game does not want me to succeed. This game wants to hurt me. It doesn't even tell me a hint of what I'm supposed to be doing. So I gotta get up there, hit that, and then do something. And the noise is just unbearable! Please, grab the wall. Grab, grab the wall. Please, I'm begging you out! I can't do this. Can't get back behind there, which is where I'm supposed to go, apparently. Little chow, what the hell do you want? Cool, I would love to. I would love to open the console. If I could. Well, she was on the wall and she jumped off of it without me hitting the jump button. This is bullshit! One, 
more goddamn time. Alright, so I have this. I can't get in there. I can't get in there! What the fuck do I do? Okay, so, you know how it said I needed to get through the water, but I needed to destroy that thing first. Well, I hit this button, and it freezes time, and look, there's clearly water still going through there. However, according to this walkthrough of this dumbass game, I can now go through the water that I was told I can't go through. God, I'm so tired of this bullshit. This game can eat all the nuts. You know, I did it wrong, so I have to sit here and wait. Isn't this fun? Isn't this why we play video games? For the funness? Oh my god. I'm just... I'm ready. I'm ready for the end. Of course. Why? Why would I not be able to hit it? Cool. I did the thing. Cool. I would love to. Of course, you gotta give Rouge the quest that's all like, Drain the liquid, Rouge. We want to see it. I just want to go home. Oh, God, what the fuck? Why did it block my view? That's bullshit. And I can't get through here now because the water's coming down. Which means I have to go... <sighs> to hit this. And then I have to make it up through the water before... Oh, my God! I want to be... What the fuck? Camera! Look, I can't get through it now. This is the most bullshit game in the... Oh, thank God she's dead. I'm so happy. I'm so happy she died. It is well-deserved. <laughs> I'm so happy. <sighs> That's why I'm doing this giant episode to finish this game, because I can't do another one. I can't. I really can't. This is the... This has been the most depressing video game playthrough I've ever done in my entire life, because this is a game that I adored as a child. And now to see it for what it really is, an ultimate pile of bullshit, is just... It hurts, but it makes me madder than anything. I was like, I liked this garbage? And of course I didn't get him. Why? Why? Why would I be able to use my attack feature to hurt it when I can just jump on its head like fucking Mario? Why? Oh, God. All right, so I need to try and time this. Because I think that one... Nope. It doesn't. It doesn't last longer. It doesn't last longer. Which means there's no way that I can actually do this unless there's another button up here somewhere. Because that means now... There we go. There's a fucking spring. I can't see anything, because this camera is garbage. And the developer who designed the camera should be ashamed. God, finish it. Just let it end. Let it all end! Please move on to the next character. Please. Thank God. I hope she drowns in there. <laughs> Is it down here? The exact same spot that Rouge was just in? Nope, no button, but there is a, uh, a tiger? I don't know. I don't know what it is. These have coins or rings, whatever. This one wants to be Mario so bad, but... Oh, I have to hold a button and then use the analog stick that's in front of that button to control the camera so I can see where I'm going. Oh, my 
my god. This game is everything wrong with Sonic. Oh, I didn't have to press that one. So it should be right in front of me, he says, which means that it's probably up here, which why would they give me that whole underwater section to go to? Do I have to kill this fucker? Because I can't. I can't. I, I, I can't. I have to hit him pin fucking point. Which doing that with this game is not okay. Do I just gotta punch this stupid wall? Talk to me. Then tell Rouge to fucking do it. She's the one who was down there. Why didn't you ever open the stupid door? What does this switch do now? Does it change its entire function? Oh yeah, it does. It changes the function of the switch that I already... Nope. Because there's still electric bars there. But I can't do anything with. Oh cool, I got an extra life. More time to be spent playing this game. Oh shut up. Somewhere down there. It's like, yeah, I don't see anything anywhere down here. I can't hit that guy. So I can't do any attacks down here, so that doesn't make any sense. Alright, so needing a walkthrough for a stupid-ass Sonic game tells me that hitting... I, I was on it. I clipped through it. How did it not register? That apparently that switch that controls the water also controls lasers. Because, you know, what? Why is my attack not attacking? Oh my fucking god. This is the stupidest, stupidest game. There is no defending this. This game is trash. I'm ashamed of my past self for liking this game so much. Cool. I love that they put enemies in areas where I don't have the ability to defend myself. And that I have to go to. What do you want? Of course. You know, if we have all this ability to stop time as just a technology here, why aren't we actually using it? Swear to God. Oh, what the what? Why? What? What? Ah! This game is worse than Sonic 06. I am. I. I don't care. This game is like just so much worse than Sonic 06. I raged this hard probably once during Sonic 06. Of course, of course, why would it give me enough time to actually do the thing that's mandatory? Especially since it doesn't let me actually touch this thing. Oh my god, I have to actually go and go through this nonsense again. Okay, just run. Oh good, there's no laser sealing this time for some reason. Why would they ever- oh, please tell me this is the only thing I gotta do. And then I can move on. I want this game to be so over. I have two more levels, I think. Sonic and Sonic and Shadow. And then I have, I guess, Final Fight. Uh, my brain hurts. My face hurts. My heart hurts. Everything hurts. Every pop. What? What? Why would you? Oh, uh, why would you put an enemy there that you just had me use as platforms to get across this pit 
you had me learn to use them as a platform directly ahead of me. I'm like, oh, there's another one right there. Clearly, I have to use that as a platform. And then it's like, nope, you fall into space and die. That is the most bullshit bullshit that's ever bullshitted. What do you have to say? Oh, no floor. no floor. Has no floor. Be careful. God, please land. I'm going to throw you into that pit. I want you to land. It says it has no floor. Then where the hell am I supposed to go? That way? Then why did it turn me this way? You little bastard. You get over here. You're going to fucking die. I don't care. Fuck you. Why did it turn me to the wrong spot? That's the most bullshit thing I've ever seen in a video game. Why won't it let me... <laughs> do I have to... Do I have to fucking kill every fucking robot in this stupid-ass game? Good, I'm dead. Hope you died, Sonic. Hope the lasers cut you into pieces. Now, I want you all to watch this carefully, because this pisses me off. You know how everyone's like, oh, well, Souls games are unfair and all that. It's like, no, you just get better at Souls games, and then you can handle it. This turned me to the wrong direction. I didn't have a choice. It turned me here. And then it's like, oh, kill that guy, cool. I don't think I have to come back. And it doesn't automatically turn me this way. I have to manually turn myself this way. God damn, this game can go to hell. I don't even care anymore. Fuck this game. This game's no good. This game is absolute trash. It can go to hell. I don't even care. My childhood memories were the most rose-tinted things ever. <sighs> Sonic Adventure 1, significantly better than this game. And that game's got a lot of problems too. But it kicks this game in the balls repeatedly. This game can go to hell. I would be okay not remembering this one. <laughs> Oh, shit, this game sucks. Yes. Now, please let me do Shadow's level so I can get through that bullshit and finish the game. <sighs> Barely made it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you can go to hell, Sonic. I don't even care. Go to hell. Godzilla can climb his way out of there. Ain't no way you're surviving hell. <sighs> <sighs> Abandoned lab. Colony impact. 19 minutes, 50 seconds. If only it were sooner. Then don't join them. Look, Find better so. friends. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I. It's almost like the creators of this game for completely forgot about your character arc in the first game. Shadow, we need you. Please help us. <laughs> it's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be. I know that God, how does she walk with her knees cocked like that? Things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good. Like, look at her feet. <laughs> this is her like standard posture in this game. Nah. <laughs> Let the world burn. Thank you. Please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you. Please. Do it for Barbie. Me. Insert clips of Shadow with the Ken song from the Barbie movie. <laughs> I'm just Ken. When I need you, she says a friend. <laughs> I want this cover now. I don't want an AI cover, because fuck AI. I want this cover, though. She's not even talking anymore. <laughs> Why did they keep Sayonara? Why didn't she say goodbye? They made her look super white, and then they kept the translation of Sayonara. What the fuck? <laughs> Who worked on this? Shame on all of you. Oh, we love we love bulging testicles in our Sonic games. <laughs>
Zoom, zoom. What's that? It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. Is it chaos? They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the chaos emeralds. <laughs> or to summon chaos, which would have been a really cool idea. Well, this looks like an arena. You ungrateful humans who took everything away from me will feel my loss and despair. <laughs> oh god, it's shooting videos at us. It's shooting ads. And they're not skippable. Hey, look. It's a heffalump. It's a knockoff chaos. It's chaos spelled C H O A S. Shadow, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna make love to it. That'll calm it down. I see the perfect spot right there. <laughs> I'll take care of this while you run to get the chaos emerald. <sighs> All right, the bio lizard. Uh, that name just makes me remember that I really... Oh, God. I really want a Biolante resurrection. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> He's like, I'll take care of this. <laughs> dead. Like the soldier in, um, in Kong Skull Island that pulls out the grenade. <laughs> That's essentially what just happened. All right, I need rings. Cool. How do I get to its life support system again? Aha. I gotta ride the rail. What the? What? 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 I need a ring. This is such a bowl. There we go. I just gotta bounce on it. Why does it sound like a cougar? Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna nibble on you. Oh, he's shimmying his tail. Look at his little feetsies. Oh, he's so cute. I like this guy. See, this feels okay because this feels. Ew. Oh, you bitch. This feels like a boss that would have been in Adventure 1. How do I. What? How? How? Nope, dead. They track me. There we go. I just have to dodge him until he eventually starts smoking. Oh! Homing bullshit. I'm so tired of it. Oh! Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go, lizard buddy. Me and you. I'm gonna try and do this until you start getting the hiccups. Come on. You gotta hick him up. You gotta hick him up. There we go. Good boy. See, they track me so perfectly. Are y'all done? There you go. You're a little steamy. Will the homing attack work this time? Looks like it will. Do I have the bouncies? I do not. So I think I'm not trying to do the bouncies then. Come on. I don't want to get your tail because I don't know how much that resets your ability to hiccup. You know, if this thing actually, like, moved other than just a circle, it'd be okay. Oh, come on. What? I have to dodge that one underneath. right into that one. What? I just gotta dodge these, I guess. No, I gotta use them to get up there. That's right. I can't, though, because I'm kid a homing attack does not work in this game. And I ran into his tail, obviously. Yeah, the homing attack does not 
work in this game, and it bounces me fuck off with this bullshit. This is the most garbage. Uh, I'm gonna skip to where I beat this thing. Finally! Oh, it's only the uh, second attempt, but you can see it took a little longer to get to this point. My god. And I had to use, look up like all sorts of walkthroughs and FAQs and everything to be like, alright, how do I do this nonsense? Because I can't homing attack those things. You just gotta volleyball yourself. They should have just taken the homing attack out of this game. The game would have worked way better. And now it's huge again. And now it's even bigger! What? It just changed sizes from clip! This is so stupid! I'm so mad at this game! I want it to end. It will end. Let's see, we're already... As of the recording, it's an hour and one minute. It's gonna be cut, obviously, but... It's an hour and one minute. I'm going to the end. I am not sitting through another session of playing this game. Oh, it's our cougar elephant! It just chaos controlled. Is it gone? Is that what chaos control is? Dude, you know what chaos control is. You've been using it this whole time. He did the exact same thing you did. Since we've stopped the chaos emeralds, why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? You sound very calm, Knuckles. I do remember this. Sonic. This is very, very, um, like, Leviathan-esque or whatnot, where it, like, fuses with the ship. Or maybe not Leviathan, I might be thinking of something else. <laughs> that was so stupid. High five! <laughs> at, least in, at least in Dragon Ball Z, they they had to learn how to fusion, huh? And look at <laughs> oh god, about me first. <laughs> it's so suggestive. How did they not see it when they made it? <laughs> how did they not? <sighs> also, like platinum shadow just doesn't look as cool as gold Sonic. He really just doesn't. He never has. He just never has looked as cool. I remember me and my buddy Connor, growing up, had the argument. He thought he looked awesome, and I was like, he just doesn't look as cool. He really doesn't. Look at that, he's just got the thing shoved up his butt. What do I gotta hit? What do I gotta hit? Oh, I have to actually, that's right. Oh, I, I messed this up. I thought I got him. I don't know what's going on. Alright. I got one. <laughs> My pimples! But look, he's literally got the whole ship shoved up his butt. <laughs> you creep! Best part of this game, right here. Live and learn! Do 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 <sighs> Alright. Boom! We're doing alright. We are doing alright. This was the most like hype moment of the game, I will say that. Something they've tried repeating in all sorts of Sonic games since this one. God damn it. There we go. Like, they have tried repeating this scene in all sorts of Sonic games. Oh, what the? But I, I got it. I had it. Boom. Okay, I think I have to press A 
as the attack and not the down one. So I'm using X to go down, A to go up on my Xbox controller. Here I come, you creep. Then learn. This is almost making all this past hour of frustrations better. Okay, so the X worked there. <laughs> you had to have one last little screw up, didn't you, Sonic Adventure 2 battle? It's so creepy looking. Live and learn! Hanging on the edge of tomorrow! Everyone on the ship's gonna die! <laughs> they just blast through and the whole thing explodes. Maria! Boom! <laughs> Final flare! Maria, this is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. <laughs> Ding! Shadow's blasting off again! But yeah, the Chaos controlled the ship somewhere else. I would have pointed it somewhere else, too. But at least the, the animal's dead. <laughs> had to have like I have to have the whole world's creepy 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 animatronic people all cheering didn't we <sighs> I killed him shadow's dead there's only one hedgehog <laughs> he fell down to the planet I'm sure we'll see him in the next game Professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth. Oh, are we actually getting his story? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog, who gave his life to save this planet. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, June Sinoy, thank you so much for the music. It's, it's the only part of this game that I still enjoy. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished. <laughs> In the next game, I'll forget all this. I don't know. All I know is that your grandpa was a dick. I'm not gonna look at you. So I don't want to think you. I want you to think I'm checking you out. Again to find those jewels you love so much. Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work. <laughs> I'm gonna give up this line of work. No, uh, you pop up in future games as well. Uh oh. I got something better than jewels I'm thinking about. Your jewels. <laughs> the stupidest fanfic writer. <laughs> I was useless this whole game. There wasn't a damn thing I did. Why did you even write me in this script? <laughs> they kept Sayonara in again. You guys realize that that's just how you say goodbye, right? That <laughs> you could have just said, See you again, Shadow the Hedgehog, and it probably would have read or sounded better than Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. God, so many bad decisions. <laughs> oh, but it's finally over. I can finally have peace of mind knowing. Oh, hello that I don't have to play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle anymore. There is no way in hell that I am going for all the emblems. With the first game, at least, I want I still have it installed. I haven't gone back to it yet, but I have it installed because getting the emblems sounds fun in that one. In this one, just going through the main game was so much of a headache that I'm going to uninstall this the moment the video is done processing and that I verify that the recording and everything went well. I am uninstalling this game, and I don't think I'll install it again in the future. 
I still have it on the GameCube. Maybe I'll play it on the GameCube at some point, because I am going to be plugging in my GameCube to set up, because I do have a classics video game setup to where I can plug in my old video games into my 4K TV, and therefore also plug them into my recording software. So, look forward to some oldies coming in the near future, because I have a lot of them, specifically from Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, GameCube, and PlayStation 1 and 2. Those are those were like my generation growing up of video games. And so I still have a lot of those and I've been rebuilding my collections. So thank you all for being here. I'm not gonna run through the whole credit sequence again. Uh, well maybe we will. We'll check to see if there's an end credit scene. But I do want to thank you all for being here. This has been a hassle to get through, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This was a nightmare game that I played through again. But I'm happy that it's over. And I'm happy that I did go back through and play it because now I don't have to, like, I'm not going to be defending this game anymore. Like, if anybody's like, this game sucks, I'd be like, it really does. Like, I remember a new day brings a new adventure. But for now. But only for now. Rest easy, heroes. I don't know who's supposed to be saying that. Oh, in loving memory. <laughs> so messed up. Oh my god, beyond good and evil. Clear last part in the story mode. But yes, uh, all-time attack boss stages are now available. Nice. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, everybody, peace out. <laughs>